are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. So this is Haven. What do you want? Is there a brother Genetivi here? Who? Perhaps revered father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Revered father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Are your traditions very different from ours? Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. I have some questions about Haven. Ask and be on your way. Why haven't I heard of Haven before? We keep to ourselves. We see no need to announce our presence to the world. It's more peaceful that way. Who's in charge? Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. He's in the Chantry giving a sermon. You should not disturb him. How long has Haven been here? Haven's always been here. My family knows no other home. Alright. Then perhaps you should return to the Lowlands. Why do you have a revered father? Priests or women? It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Have you heard of the Urn of Sacred Ashes? The urn is nothing but a legend. Well, Brother TV's research suggested that it may be more. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? I'd like to explore heaven for a while. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. Very well, excuse me. You may trade for supplies at the shop, then I suggest you leave. Interesting strategy. Tell me, do you intend to keep going north until it becomes south and attack the Archdemon from the rear? Um... What are you talking about? The Archdemon is our goal, and we are heading away from it to find the charred remnants of a dead woman. I will not simply follow in your shadow as you run from battle. Well... You're free to leave. I'm not leaving. I'm taking command. What? Defend yourself, Warden. We will settle this. Oh, come on, Stan. Missed! I was wrong. You are strong enough. What now? Just get back in line. As you wish. What are you doing? That's private! Oh, I apologize. Hmm. Who are you? You're not from Haven. Um... Can you tell me about Haven? How would you describe the place you know only as home? Have you seen a man called Brother Jin TV? No, I've never heard that name. This is the shop. I'd like to trade. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look.
Oh, detective. Okay. Shopkeeper. Oh. I shall do it. What's in here anyway? Ooh, a dead person. Is that that's a knight, I'm guessing. Maybe one of those who's <laughs> who are looking for the ashes. Yes. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far? <laughs> You killed the Knights of Redcliffe. I saw the bodies. This, my brothers, is what happens when you let an outsider into the village. They have no respect for our privacy. He will tell others of us if we let him. Word will spread, and then what? You, stranger, do not understand our ways. You would bring war to Haven in your ignorance. What about Brother Jen and TV? What have you done to him? We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Who is her? As you said. Begin the onslaught. I shall do it. Shall we go? Oh! Oh. You will learn oh. to me. Oh. I shall do it. Who are you? They... they've sent you to finish it. I'm Lith. I'm here to help you. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh, the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. Morgan, can you do anything? The leg is wounded, but that will heal in time. The foot may have to come off. I thought you might say that. But if the foot goes, it goes. There are more important things than an old man's feet. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. How do you know? My research led me to Haven, and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked. But I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. This medallion? Oh yeah, I found the medallion. I was wondering where that is in my inventory. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. Are you sure you can make the journey? It is not that far and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. Could you answer some questions first? All right. What is on your mind? Do you think the ashes will cure Arl Eamon? Cure Arl Eamon? Is the Arl sick? What happened? He was poisoned on Loghain's orders. Loghain? Why? Oh, I have been so occupied with the urn. I've missed so much. I certainly hope the ashes will save him. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. 
By believing the ashes are magical, you make them so. Uh, if it doesn't work, we'll find another way. Anyway, that can be discussed once we actually have the ashes, and the Arl is better. Haven, it's a little odd, isn't it? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. Why do they have revered fathers? I do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. What do you know about this village and its people? They call themselves the Disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she were still alive. Is that possible? I'm old enough to know that anything is possible, child. Or was there something else you wanted to discuss? What were they doing with you? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me. Where I grew up, things like that. That's curious. Huh. Yeah, they may, they may have tried to... They may have been trying to place a fake journey TV. That's curious, let's say. Yes. Yes, it was. Okay, enough talk. So run along and get that medallion then. Well, I have it. Uh, brother, I think you should know about Waylon. Waylon? What about him? They had him killed. An imposter was put in his place. Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. He believed in me, even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Was there... was there uh, something else you wanted to say? I'm ready to go. Ah, oh, good. Help me up here. Uh, uh, I'll try not to slow us down. All right. Here in the temple. Here we are. Give me the medallion and let's see if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it, it can be manipulated just like this. And there, a key to open the way. How did you know how to do that? There are very few keys like this left in the world, but I have seen some. When you find the right combination, it just feels right. It is hard to explain. Now, let's see if we can open this door. There should be a place to insert this. <laughs> oh, what I would give to have seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. You need to stay alert. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. You want to stay here? Is it safe? I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go, I will be alright. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Ann. Is there anything else I need to know about the temple? It was designed to protect the Ann from those who would steal it or do harm to it. Namely, the Tevinter Imperium.
What sorts of dangers are we talking about here? I'm not sure. The legends were never very specific on that point. Only the faithful shall lay eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. He weeps for his beloved, and his wrath at her betrayers endures. The Maker? The Maker is here? That is what the legend says, and the Maker may indeed watch this place. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand that it is merely a simple truth draped in hyperbole and metaphor. After all, no one wants to hear Willie toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. <laughs> Shrubs, then. I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? Try not to get into trouble. I'll be right here if you need me. Stop! You will go no further! Who are you? You do not have the right to demand my name. You have defiled our temple. You have spilled the blood of the faithful and slaughtered our young. No more. You will tell me now, intruder, why you have done all this. Why have you come here? My armor is too big for your face. Um... Tell me your name and I'll tell you why I'm here. I am Father Colgrim. Leader and guide to the disciples of Andraste. Kill us, and you will face Andraste. She will smell our blood, and the blood of her children on you, and her wrath will be great. Hmm. What are you talking about? The prophet Andraste has overcome death itself, and has returned to her faithful in a form more radiant than you can imagine. Not even the Tevinter Imperium could hope to slay her now. What hope do you have? Oh, that shot again, with the camera. I wish to see this arisen Andraste. None but the Disciples may approach Andraste. She is not ready yet. But when the time is right, she will descend upon the nations in fiery splendor, and all will know her. But perhaps there is a way to make up for your recent transgressions. Why do you suddenly want to cooperate with me? It may be because I believe in second chances. All of us stumble through the darkness before being found and shown the light. Perhaps... Through Andraste's mercy, her greatest enemy will become her greatest champion. Just say what you have to say. Atop this mountain lie the remains of the mortal Andraste. The urn is watched by an immortal guardian. He is trapped in the past and refuses to accept the risen Andraste. Now the ashes prevent holy Andraste from fully realizing her new form. They are a remnant of her past incarnation, and she cannot move on as long as they exist. Go on. The Beloved needs to reclaim the ashes, to make them her own again. All it would take is a drop of her blood. Blood carries power, strength, knowledge! Through it, all the power that is held in the ashes will be returned to Our Lady. Why have you not done this, then? The Guardian has foiled all our attempts to reach the urn. He keeps what power remains from the true Andraste. He knows the Disciples, and we cannot touch him, for he draws his strength from the ashes themselves. But you could deliver Our Lady what is rightfully hers. What is this talk of blood and power? And he thinks Andraste is reborn. It is preposterous. Oh, I do not like this. The rewards for performing such a service would be great indeed. What makes you think I can do this? Many have been led here. But only you had the fortitude and skill to survive the temple. You were led here by Andraste's hand, 
to do her work. The task is simple. I give you a vial of the Holy Andraste's blood, and you empty the vial into the ashes. Whatever magic was held in the ashes will be undone, and our great lady will be freed from the shackles of her past life! And what? Encourage the worship of a large lizard? Consider your actions carefully. <laughs> the religion is about as valid as the ways of the Kun. Uh, I've considered. Not enough. You're just going to have to get used to it. Take this. The blood of the dragon. You know what you must do. If we succeed, Kogram and his fellows will be indebted to you. That puts you in a very advantageous position. Now, I shall beseech the Holy Andraste to let you pass safely into the inner sanctum. Andraste? I'm not going to test that theory. <laughs> Music soothes the beast? Perhaps you can sing to it, why not? Andraste, I pray you, stay your wrath. I bring before you your champion, who will fall upon your enemies as a cleansing flame, paving the way for your glory. Oh, beloved Andraste, I gonna kill him. oh, holy Andraste, we praise your name. I have spoken to the beloved Andraste. She will let you pass. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you. We await your triumphant return. Go, show yourself to be Andraste's true champion. I'm not sure I like this Andraste. I see. Resist it. Huh. I'll try again. I'll try again. Come on, stop resisting. Yeah. Uh. 